Welcome to Roofing Road Trips with Heidi. Explore the roofing industry through the eyes of a long-term professional within the trade. Listen for insights, interviews, and exciting news in the roofing industry today. Hello, everyone. My name is Megan Ellsworth here at RoofersCoffeeShop.com, and we're back again for Roofing Road Trips. Um, And I am here with Michelle Cox. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Uh, So excited to be chatting with you. We're going to be talking about the Beacon um, Female Roofer of the Year contest, your experience with it. So why don't we just dive right in and have you introduce yourself? Of course. Um, My name is Michelle Cox, and I am co-owner of Cox Residential Cox Roofing. Um, And we've been in business for almost almost 12 years now. Oh, wow. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, I didn't think about it. But yeah, almost 12 years. I absolutely love roofing um, and I love even more being um, a woman in the roofing industry, believe it or not. (laughs) Yes, me too. (laughs) Um, So do you want to share a little bit of the history and culture of your company um, and the story behind Cox uh, Residential? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Well, we start with the all same story. Um, My husband used to work for another roofing company. He worked there for uh, quite some time. Um, Back then, I was still in in college. Um, I went to um, have a couple degrees in business. And then he just decided to um, go on his own. Same old story. Things didn't go as planned. He didn't get paid. Everything he was owed. And and he was, for the most part, doing the majority of the work, and that's when he we had the conversation, and we decided to open uh, our own roofing company. Um, and yeah, uh, the culture of the company, uh, we tried to keep an open door um, policy. You know, um, I let me try to say this right because I always say it wrong. <laughs> this is a company that is owned by a woman who happens to be Latino, you know? Um, uh, and with that being said, um, inclusion and uh, being t- a diversity, that they, they are a must within our company. You know, we have to uh, make people feel like they are part of it. They are not, I always say, they're not my employees. You don't work for me. You work with us, you know? So with that being said, having uh, happy employees is very, very important. You know, everything that we do, of course, money comes with, you know, nobody works for a hobby. We work um, to make money, to make a living. But when people are happy with what they do and you know how to uh, find the skills and what they they enjoy uh, doing, it um, makes it a lot easier to become successful. Absolutely. Yeah. Well <laughs> said. Well said. Um, so how did it feel to be a finalist in the Beacon Female Roofer of the Year contest? That's pretty exciting. It was pretty exciting. Um, actually, funny story. Uh, the the person who let me know, we went on one of those trips that manufacturers um, takes you to, you know, and we met um, different uh, owners of other roofing companies. And I we connected with um, a couple guys. I think they are in uh, Washington. Oh, I don't know. They have a couple different states. And one of them is the one that texts me and he let me know, hey, you're famous now. And I'm like, what am I? You know, so <laughs> he sent the screenshot and uh, he showed it to me and he's like, hey, when we had conversations, I knew that you were um you were good at what you do. And it just feels amazing coming from another owner, those words, you know. And ever since, um, a lot of people have reached out and let me know how proud they are. And uh, they remember back when we started the company. And um, it, it is it has been definitely been a humbling experience. But at the same time, knowing that people are watching, knowing that people are seeing what you're doing inspires me uh, to become better, a um, better woman, a uh, better um, business uh, or entrepreneur, uh, but at the same time, a better human being to make sure that everything that I'm doing um, goes along with the ethics and values that, that we have and that we want with people that work with us. Yeah. Wow. Well said. Um, I love this next question and 
I think you kind of touched on it already, but what do you credit for your success in business today? Uh, my team. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's not me, you know, like every time we get an award or, or anything, I always say it's not, this is, it's not me, nothing that we have. Um, I mean, uh, yes, I am some sort of um, guiding people to mm -hmm. the path that I feel that they have to take. But at the end of the day, I have amazing people working with us, you know, mm -hmm. I'm really good at, or I think I am, I'm really good at business. My husband is really good at construction. My COO, he is amazing at numbers. Anything you give him, he can break it down into numbers. Um, he loves uh, spreadsheets, which I don't. Um, <laughs> my sales manager, he is amazing training people. He's really good at motivating people and keeping them on track. So I just feel like it's a combination of all of us, you know? So I, anything that the company, the success of the company is them. It's, it's not just the owners. Yeah. Why do you think it's important that we recognize and celebrate women-owned roofing businesses? I mean, oh besides God. the obvious. <laughs> right, right. If I can hire uh, more, uh, like 10 women right now, I will do it. I will totally do it. One of my top sales reps is a woman, believe it or not. Love. You know, she's just amazing she's so good she's so detail oriented and um it is not a secret that women can multitask pretty well you know with her i don't have to ask her to do anything you know if anything she's like hey not only i got that done but i was thinking that you probably could use this as well so um yeah I'm trying to let people know I got some pushback back in the day when we started the company where it was like, well, we don't want to talk to you. We just want to talk to your husband. No? Always typical. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, you don't know anything. And it is not just the construction part. It's not just the roofing part. You know, you also need somebody to get things done because it does not matter how good you are at construction or how good you are at getting on the roofs. If you don't know um, how to make it work, it's just not. It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying really hard to work and um, uh, putting the message out there that diversity, inclusion, and, and having women in the roofing industry benefits everyone. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I'm being a good, um, um, I'm, I'm conveying the message correctly, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think you definitely are. And I love, I think it's even more important to shine a light, like you said, on you're a woman, but just happens to be Latino, you know, and that's something to celebrate too, especially with, you know, um, Hispanic Heritage Month coming up in October. Um, so yeah, well said. Yeah. So what would you say to other women who want to get into roofing? Do it do it you know, it's fun a lot of people are like roofing oh i just don't want to get on roofs i just don't want to do this i mean there's so many components into mm -hmm. um being in in the roofing industry you know you don't just have to install roofs you don't just have to um you know that's part of it and the same thing and not the same thing i have always said it uh women and men are completely different you know but at the same time, the, we complement each other. Neither is better than the other one, but we complement each other. And women have so much to offer to the roofing industry, you know? So, and I feel like being a woman should not be a, a weakness. It can be your superpower, depending on how you use it, mm -hmm. you know? So, um it, it is pretty doable. We need more women in the roofing industry. So if anything, I will encourage anybody, any woman that wants to join, to please do it. Yes, please join us. <laughs> yeah. Join us. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so how important is the distributor relationship, um, for a company's success? Cause you spoke about, you know, you've gone on manufactured trips and obviously Beacon is a distributor. Um, so how important is that relationship? You know, um, I have, a um, another funny story about Beacon. Um, they were not my main supplier until National Women in Roofing. 
like national women thing created that that relationship in that font yes because uh she was working um for another roofing company and she wanted to become part of national women in roofing and when she did um i'm i'm the chair here in indiana and uh after she was showing us what she got i'm like okay she really wants this she wants to make this happen so we joined forces and we actually the National Women Roofing in Indiana has taken off pretty well ever since she came and joined. After that, she uh, left that roofing company and she went to um, Beacon. And it is because of her that I'm able to be bigger projects, um, having more answers faster. And I mean, she's just on it, you know, and it is so amazing to me that it, National Women in Roofing made that happen that connection happen you know uh, we benefit from each other she helps me a lot with uh, all the the information that i need and i help her in questions that she has because i have a little more experience um in the roofing industry that she has mm -hmm. um, but at the same time she reminded me that the they don't work for homeowners. I don't work for homeowners. We work for each other. You know, he, we help each other. And without the suppliers, I can't do anything. And without us, they can't do anything, you know. So it is super important that that you find the right supplier, that you find somebody that can um, uh, help you with all your needs. Um, it it d definitely makes a difference when when you have somebody to support you and has your back. Yeah, and that definitely goes to show the power of community, especially when women are coming together to uplift each other. Um, I mean, you, that just, you can't stop that, you know? That's right. just so powerful. Yeah. So what advice would you have for roofing contractors out there trying to create a strong relationship with distribution um, for the success of their business? Well, I think it's really important. You know, it's really important uh, from the, the 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 supplier to the contractor, from the contractor to the supplier, because um, my previous supplier, um, I just. It, it, I was with him because I was with him since the beginning, you know, I, I wanted to be loyal, but I was not getting what I needed when I needed it. And it was just making me sometimes look not so good with clients and without even realizing what was happening um i was losing contracts and um and not just that you know like it, it just you just feel the love from your suppliers sometimes when and 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 i don't even care you know but sometimes uh they show up at my new supplier beacon they show up with donuts and cupcakes and uh, for my sales meeting and it, it is just so amazing that my sales reps appreciate her and they feel like any question that they have related to roofing or not roofing they can come to her you know yeah. and um it, it makes a difference on the dynamic that you have within your company and when they are selling as well um they're like hey this is not on stock let me see what i can do they go to her and she moves things around they feel like somebody has her back besides me besides myself and and my managers the supply as well and that's so important well said. I think that's some great advice. Um, lastly, is there anything you'd like to say about, um, you know, being a finalist in this contest? Um, any any um, words of thanks or? Um... You know, like after I saw this, um, I'm like, why? Why more um, suppliers or manufacturers or people have not done this just yet? You know, uh, you see it all the time with men, you know, a top sales rep, got yeah. this, got that. And even all the conventions that I go to, or all the home shows, the, they have constant um, programs for men and there's almost nothing for women. You know, and I'm like, we have a lot to bring to the table as well. And, and I wish that more people will start doing that. I even, believe it or not, after um, the whole weekend thing, I started reaching out to manufacturers and I'm like, why are you guys not doing this? You know, yes. like, let's do this, you know. Uh, 
I, there's so many women behind the scenes that you don't see, but I promise you, yeah. if you start scratching a little bit, you're going to see, and more women are going to feel more confident in like, okay, um, they appreciate me. They see what I'm doing. And that sets the example for others who are thinking about coming into the industry or they're passionate about it and they're just not sure, you know? So uh, I, I, I think it's amazing. I am very grateful that Beacon is doing that, not just for me, but for many other women. And um, I wish more more suppliers and more manufacturers were doing it. Yeah, me too. That's, I mean, for anyone out there listening, let's get on that. <laughs> let's make it happen. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, congratulations on being Thank a finalist. You. So exciting. Um, you have had such great advice for people today and just, I love, have loved hearing your story and sharing, um, your wisdom. So thank you so much for chatting with me today. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. For everyone listening out there, please go listen to all our other roofing road trips. We interviewed the Beacon Female Roofer of the Year finalist last year as well. So you can hear even more great um, stories about women in roofing. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and we will be seeing you next time on Roofing Road Trips. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a review. Thanks for listening. This has been Roofing Road Trips with Heidi from theroofersconfeeshop.com.